Welcome back. What's this? An islands video? Oh boy. Oh goody. Can't wait to see what happens. That sounds sarcastic, but I mean that. I can't wait to see what happens. So I tried this already with the usual amount of islands where I did a hundred and filming it was a nightmare. So I decided to reduce it to 25, five rows of five. What we're gonna do today is we're gonna place one of each race on the corners. And we're gonna send them off to war. But there's a catch. We'll be spinning these two wheels, kind of like Battleship to determine a horizontal row and a vertical row of which island will be sunk. So if we roll an A and a four, row A, row four, this guy would get sunk. We're gonna sink them like, I don't know, every 20 years maybe, unless that feels too fast or too short, and we're gonna see what happens. And yes, you heard me right, we are doing all four races. That includes the dreaded orcs. I know they're OP, but I figure this video is gonna be so much based on chance that you know what even though they are super op are they lucky you feeling lucky punk all right make a village come on okay so like i said i kind of tried this already once with a hundred islands and i learned a couple things during that little test one is a hundred islands is way too many right obviously but the other thing is is that the beginning of the match having your island sunk is kind of a good thing for example if i was to sink E1 right here. They don't die, they just swim to the nearest island, or a random island, not always the closest. So if I sunk this island, and they all spread to these three islands, they went from having one island to having three islands. Kind of a good thing, right? Now once all the islands are full, it becomes a bad thing. Because say, if I sunk this island, and these three islands were already taken by races that maybe they are at war with, or even just neutral with, well, these guys have nowhere to go, so they're homeless. And if they do swim to an island, they either get killed or just have to, I don't know, hang out and do nothing. It's interesting. You want your island sunk early, but you don't want it sunk later. So the idea here is that we'll periodically spin the wheels, sink an island, and we'll do that pretty much throughout the entire video until either someone wins or there's only one island left. I don't imagine there being multiple kingdoms alive if there's only one island left. To start things off, let's see what we get. For our horizontal row, we got ourselves a nice crispy B. And for our vertical row, we got ourselves a 5. So just in case you forgot how the alphabet works or don't know what numbers are, A, B, C, D, E. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So B, Five. Boom. The crabs are not so pleased. Now they have to go find a new home. How's this one? Imagine the fishing boat just catches him. Okay, let's check the year here. Let's do it every 10 years, I think. Forget how slow time goes when you're having fun. So we got Oof. We got Dawn. What's with the elves and the name Dawn, huh? Retum rocks and peke poke picky poke i like picky poke i think okay we got our first war humans versus orcs but we also got wheel time for our horizontal row we got b again okay b one okay so that doesn't have a huge effect but it does have a little effect you know because now this kingdom has only like one neighboring island and then there's this one of course but that's further away you know they got less options so I wonder if that will slow them down a little bit. I don't imagine anything crazy will happen for a while because they don't even have boats yet, but that's why we're doing the islands because they can swim, you know? Wouldn't that be nice if they just didn't wait until they had ships to go in the water? What if they were just like, hey, look, there's an island right there. What if we swam? Because they can do it, but only in an emergency. Okay, it's been 10 years. Let's go for another one. I kind of want to see someone's island get hit. Okay, A. There are two kingdoms in A. If we get a one or a five, it's the humans or the elves. Oh, that could be a five. That's gonna be a four. Right next door to the elves. Okay, A, four. That's kind of unlucky for them, huh? They're out here all by themselves now. They gotta go all the way over here. I like that everyone's declaring war, but like they literally can't get there. I mean, again, they could swim, right? They could swim. You do know you can swim, right? Oh, you're just content where you are? You think your name's Uzo? I think it's Bozo. Gotcha. The orcs and the dwarves currently have no idea that islands are even sinking, you know? For the elves over here, they've had to watch both of their islands sink into the ocean, and the humans had to see it once. But the dwarves and the orcs have no idea. I kind of hope it happens to one of them. You know? Okay, it's about to hit 10 more years. Boom. Got ourselves a C. Getting C1, looks like. Okay. C1's right here. Boom. Gone. You sunk my battleship. 
Okay, that's actually a good idea. Doing this, but with Battleship, to where instead of sinking them, we just like drop a bomb. Whoa, I'm getting some crazy ideas right now. I gotta write these down. Anyway, I'm getting sidetracked. Everyone's kind of hanging out at the maximum of 38. Dwarves are definitely behind. They're at 30 right now. No one's got transport boats yet, but I think that we'll get there soon, hopefully. But uh, if someone's island gets hit and they swim, that would be a huge kind of advantage for them. Okay, we're about to hit another 10 years. Boom. Oh, thank goodness the humans made peace with the orcs after that horrendous war where they never actually even saw the enemy. They just yelled at each other across the ocean. Okay, let's spin again, shall we? We got ourselves an E2. E2, right next to the orcs. Okay, so currently the only kingdom whose islands have not been sunk, whose neighbor islands have not been sunk, is the dwarves. The dwarves have no idea there's a weird phenomenon going on right now where entire islands are just disappearing into the water, just sinking in an instant. But I think they're gonna learn soon enough. I really think that. All right, one more year and we do it again. Let's do it every 20 years. I think 10 years is too fast. We've already sunk five islands and they haven't even left their starting ones. <laughs> so let's slow it down a little bit, shall we? Okay, two more years and we sink another island. You guys gonna leave your starting ones? We got 41 population over here though. They're trying. Okay. It's sinking time. For horizontal row, we got A. There are two kingdoms in A. Oh, no way. A5. That's the elves. Here we go. Our first kingdom island gets sunk. Boom. Oh, that hurts. All their buildings are destroyed. Most of them swim for this closest island, but we had a couple people go to this one and some to these two. Okay, that's gonna be big for them. Oh, whoa, no way. They, they spread to six different islands. Okay, so that's humongous for them. That's massive. Um, they were kind of struggling, so it might be good for them. It's gonna be a little while before they can actually use these islands because it's just like one or two people on each, but still. Now they have six islands worth of land to deal with. Good for them. I told you, early on, getting your island sunk is huge. Dawn up to 85. Three more years and we sink another island. If we sink them again, <laughs> that's gonna be really good for them. If this was a different race and not the elves, I'd be like, wow, they're like gonna be way in the lead. Maybe they'll win, but the elves just, they're really weak right now. So they need this little head start. Okay, year 440. Time to spin. We got ourselves E4. Okay, this is next to the dwarves. Boom, they have just had a very harsh realization. They built this transport ship to go to this island and then it sunk right before their very eyes. Okay, oh man, the elves are up to 200 population. The humans have taken their second island though, up to about 60 population, good for them. Hopefully we'll see the other kingdoms do the same sooner than later because the elves are just getting a bigger and bigger lead and they have more chances to have their island sunk, which means they'll spread even more. So these other kingdoms better take these neighboring islands first. Why are the dwarves doing so bad, man? I mean, I, I shouldn't be surprised. I, I don't know why. They're always so bad. They haven't even hit their islands max population yet they're still at 31 orcs over here 42 41 still not expanding humans up to 80 elves up to 240 okay it's been 20 years oh humans just took a third island let's see what we get got ourselves e oh no way e5 that's the dwarves okay oh and they just this is gonna suck for them dude the elves just took the neighboring island and that's one of the only spots they can swim to okay they're all landing here they're allied right now the dwarves are here <laughs> They can't, okay, they took this one. Man, oh, they took this one too. Okay, so now like the king is just like marooned on this elf island, like this sucks. It looks like a nice place, but it's not his home and he can't go anywhere. Maybe a boat will come pick him up, but first these new islands have to build up a village so where they can even make boats. So better get comfortable. You're gonna be there a little while, buddy. And you just better hope the elves don't declare war on the dwarves because then it's all over. Works up to 60, took a second island. Humans 126 with three islands. Elves at 338 with eight islands. And then dwarves with two at 27. If that happened a little bit sooner and they took this island before it was taken, that that would have been good for them. Oh no, they're starving, buddy. But yeah, they were just a little late on that one. There's only one empty island left. So from now on, almost all of our rolls are gonna be hitting someone. Speaking of which, it's time to roll. Okay, D4, D4, that is an elf island. Boom, sucks for them. See where they swim. I don't know why you wouldn't swim to your home islands, <laughs> but like a good 20 
or so of them swam to dwarf islands. Not a good move, but a pretty good hit to them, making them lose an entire island. Uh, they now have less space. I guess the more islands you have, the more chance that, you, that they're going to sink, so it kind of balances itself after a while. I don't see the dwarves really expanding much beyond their two islands, though. So once these two get sunk, they're pretty much done for. That's GG. So let's hope that doesn't happen soon, you know? Okay... Two more years, we got humans at 200 population, elves at 380, orcs at 140, dwarves at 60. So pretty wide range, but I do feel like with how this works, it can turn around pretty quickly. Okay, we got ourselves A1. That's the human's home island. Oh, bummer, dude, I feel bad about this one. I know you worked hard, I know some of you were born here, but that's it, time to go for a swim. At least they're pretty much all gonna go to their own, well, there's a couple dummies out here, actually. Swam past their home island to go to the elf one. Pretty smart. Actually, a couple of them. There's three of them over here, too. What? Why did you do that? Why did you do that? Oh, you're sad? I wonder why. Oh, you're homesick? People, there's a guy all the way down here. Look at this. Bro. Okay. Wait, no way. There's people. There's, wait, those are foxes. Whew. So they're down to three islands. Three, two, and then the elves have seven. Why are there no wars so far? Is everyone just too busy swimming around to really think about what's going on? Everyone's just panicking about their sinking islands. It's funny that there were so many wars at the beginning, like before they even could reach each other. But now that like they're actually got islands next door and they have boats, everyone Everyone's like, I don't know. You and I, we ain't so different. The king of dawn over here is sad. Oh, buddy. 900 health. What a guy. Beast. It kind of makes you want to declare war, doesn't it? Okay, here we go. Time to spin again. We got C5. All right. That is an elf island right here. Oh, what a beautiful farm you have. I would hate it if something bad happened to it. Dang. Where are they going to go? See how many of them go all the way down here to the dwarf island? Three of them. Good thinking, guys. Swim twice as far so that you can starve to death on someone else's island did someone come all the way down here no way dude bro look how far this guy went from here all the way down to here just so he could be on land that's not his man if you think you get lost easy just remember that guy oh we got humans just declared war on the dwarves it looks like the dwarves are attacking first oh no way and the humans are attacking them back uh did they defend nope they did not i think they're just gonna trade islands here imagine they trade islands and then one of them sinks all oh, that work okay what are you doing take it i think the humans could easily just wipe the dwarves out completely if they just drop the same army over here but you know what oh no way the commando is on the way oh the commando is dead I repeat, the commando is dead. They like destroyed everyone on these two islands, but they're like unable to take it. I guess they gotta, there we go. What the? The elves took it? Right from under there? What the? No way. Did you see that? The humans destroyed everyone on the island, cleared it out, and then there was like two elves here that just decided to just snatch it right from underneath them. Also, how are the dwarves still over here fighting this island? You might want to hurry up and take it, you know, before the elves do. All right, time to spin. We got ourselves B and four, which we have not done yet. This is this one. Looks like I think this is their main island right now. That's going to be a tough one for them, especially considering a bunch of these idiots are going to swim to the wrong islands. Where are you going to go? Okay, a bunch of them went over here. Well, two of them went over here. <laughs> okay, the dwarves actually took this island from the humans, and now they're starving to death because it took them so long, and the elves still hold this. That was so funny, but like in a sad kind of way, you know? Looks like the humans are taking this other dwarf island here eventually there we go and that puts the dwarves down to one island left which is a bad place to be when the islands are s no way no way you've got to be kidding me the elves just took this one too why are the humans so slow at taking them or the elves really just that fast <laughs> okay bro <laughs> i don't know what to tell you the elves are not messing around right now orcs just declared war on the dwarves so that's pretty much game over for them because they're pretty much gone already the elves took that one no way okay the elves are straight up gonna win this one because of just how many islands they've stolen that's wild that's so crazy was he just already there how are they doing it instantly like that well regardless we do gotta spin let's see what's next b2 oh it's a human island one of their two islands bummer dude even the king's there let's see where he goes go home good call i think a lot of them swam oh a lot of them are here in fact i think more people here are humans than actual elves the dwarves are officially gone sucks for them yeah i think the elves might win this one the orcs just declared war on the humans 
It's only one island they get to take, which isn't gonna do very much. And there it is, like instantly destroyed. Let's see if the elves can take this one too. There's currently no elves on this island, but I'm suspicious. Oh, they're, they're, oh, look at that. I think I just saw an elf, didn't I? Did I imagine that? Did you see that? There was like one little white shirt guy over here for a split second. I don't know, man. I'm so sketched out by those elves. The humans survived that attack though. Good for them. Okay, please take it. Please take it. Please take it. Take the island before the elves do. What are you doing? What are you doing? Come on. Oh my gosh. Just do it. <laughs> what are you doing? Uh. Well, they weren't as instant about it this time. Counts for something. The orcs need this island so bad and they're just standing there. That is it for the humans, of course. So now it's just orcs and elves. The strongest race versus the weakest race. Oh, there it is. Elves just took it. Okay, well, what the orcs have in strength, they lack in intelligence. And what the elves lack in strength, they have in just having the common common sense to take the islands. <laughs> Okie dokie. All right, we're sinking A3, which is this top one right here. Boom, there's the king swimming to his neighboring island. And it's actually almost time to spin again because I took so long to do that one. Okay, the orcs just declared war on the elves. This could just be instant game over for them because they don't really have the strength to be doing that. Oh, this is already destroyed? When did this happen? Oh, the humans must have done that. Well, there are elves here. It's weird, when did that happen? Oh man, that's so, <laughs> that's so game over for them. But first we gotta sink one more time. Let's see what we get. What if it's a Orc Island. D2. Oh, it's the one that just got destroyed. Boom. Okay. Well, that might be good for the orcs because that was about to be an elf island. So it's two islands versus what? Eight? Seven? Yeah, eight. And the elves are gonna take this one probably. The orcs are so much stronger though. They could technically fend them off for a little while, but 90 population to 400. I, they're strong, but I don't know if they're that strong. I mean, they're doing a pretty good job. 68 to 400 yeah, there's no way they can ever stop the attacks from coming. They're just going to keep barely surviving for a while, and then it's going to be over. That's wild. Yeah, there we go. The elves are taking this island, and that was their bigger one. That's the one that had the army on it. This one's, like, hardly even defended. There goes that island. I don't know. They're holding on. What if they just hang on for so long that all these... Oh, they took this one over here. No way. Okay, they got two islands. What if they take this one back, and then what if a couple elf islands sink? Can you imagine? We're about to spin again. I never thought I'd see the day of me rooting for the orcs to turn it around, but uh, this would be a pretty sweet win if they managed to do it. A, three. Okay, did that one already. Okay, C, four. This guy right here. Boom, an elf island. So they don't die, obviously, but it makes it so they can't really populate that much. If they're all at capacity, because their islands are full, it slows down the reproduction, which gives the orcs kind of a chance to take over. Oh, no way, they're taking this island now too. But will they capture the island, you know? Because that one time time earlier when they didn't okay there we go okay so they took one <laughs> and they immediately lost one uh 89 population to 333 they've weakened them substantially all right that's something can they hang on until the next island sinks uh, it's not looking super good, but they are doing it. The orcs are over here taking this island back. Just barely. They took, there's like three people that survived that attack. Come on, capture it. I like that this little square right here is still elf for whatever reason. Oh, look at that huge elf army. Okay, yeah, no, I don't know about that. I don't know if they can stop that army. That's a big one. Okay, they're down to one island again. I mean, technically two, but they'd have to actually capture this one. Come on, drop off like a builder or something. No, you fool. Take it, please. Orcs kind of have this one. What's with them not setting up camp? The elves are like so on top of that. They like do it instantly. The orcs just sit there forever until the elves just walk in there and take it from them. They actually left that island. Look at that. <laughs> Let the elves have it. It's so annoying. Oh, they're getting attacked on their home base. They're fine. Okay, time to spin. I'm assuming this will sink an elf island, which will be interesting. Come on, give us one we haven't done already. A... Four. Okay, we're rolling so many duplicates that I'm just gonna put in the names of the islands that are left. So now we know exactly what island we're gonna get from this wheel. We got ourselves C2. Boom. That is this guy. If they swim down, uh-oh. Defend. Defend your empty island. Oh, you let them take it. Okay, they took both of those. Oh, the orcs are like holding the island, but they're not actually building on it. They're just letting it stay neutral. Okay, the elves took this one. All right, this is kind of annoying to watch, honestly. I feel like the orcs probably could turn this around if they just tried at all, but they're just defending. You need more than one island. Take it. Make it yours. Over here, too. They got both of them still. I mean, I guess better for them to guard them than for them to leave them. You know, it's like the elves don't have these two, which counts for something. Here comes an army of like two. <laughs> nice try. Oh, orc attack over here, and they left 
this one empty. So onward it goes. Them continuously only having one island. Okay, they got two islands now. They took this one finally. Oh, they just picked up all their soldiers, left it empty. I wonder if the elves are gonna take it. Either way, it's time to spin D5. That is this island over here. Boom, another elf one gone. Oh, their main island's getting destroyed right now. That's gonna do it probably. Definitely for that island, but their other islands are pretty weak. Well. They only have one other one and it's super weak. Oh, did they survive that? No way. Somehow, they have no buildings left, but there's like still 10 people on it. Okay, they got two islands. They got 44 population versus 160. Elves have four islands. Orcs have two. The elves just took their weaker island, although both islands looking kind of weak right now. If the elves attack them right now, That'd be it. They're so weak right now. Oh, boat coming in. Oh, big army. It's not big enough. Down to 19 population. Down to 150. And you know what? I will say, I don't think the orcs can win it, but they did put up a good fight. There we go. Two elf boats. Yeah, that's it for sure. That's game over. Dang, good fight though. You know, good fight. We came down to... Oh, wait. No way. <laughs> Imagine the orcs take this one. This giant dude. Okay. Goodbye. Down to seven islands left total out of 25. Pretty good, pretty good. I kind of imagined it coming down to like two islands left, like one of a race and one of another, but this makes more sense. All right, the elves take the win. They were the first kingdom to get hit, which made them spread out. And then they just kept snatching up islands right underneath people. They took like four different islands that someone else cleared for them. So they didn't lose any population in the war, they just took the island. Like that was such a game winning strategy, whatever you call that, just being smart, being aggressive, good for them. Anyway, thanks for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed this. I'd be down to do this again, but do it. Maybe we just blow up the island instead of sink it. That way the people on it just die instead of swimming to get kind of a different result where losing your island is always really bad. So maybe we'll try that sometime. But anyway, thanks for watching. Hit the like button if you enjoyed the video and consider subscribing if you haven't yet. And I'll see you guys next time. Okay, bye.